We begin our live coverage on the flood update in the country where the national government has announced plans to use Kenya Navy vessels to transport fuel in Lamu County, which is inaccessible after road after the ravaging floods cut off at Ngamba along the Gasen Witu Lamu Road. Health Cabinet Secretary Susan Akumicha and Government Spokesman Isaac Maura, who toured Lamu, announced that the military will be used to transport essential commodities. Following the heavy downpour in Lamu County, the gas and wheat to Lamu Road remains closed and the government now says it will use Kenya Navy vessels to transport fuel in Lamu Town since it is inaccessible by road. I'm going to give information to the cabinet committee. In fact, on my way out of here, that will be my first discussion, we will use the Kenya Navy to ensure that the drugs can be through Mombasa and then brought here. Equally fuel. In Mandera, the heavy rains have displaced hundreds of residents while wrecking havoc on infrastructure. Area residents are calling for quick interventions by the cabinet secretary for roads and transport Kipchumba Murkomen. The county government should mobilize resources to afford this crisis and stabilize the situation. Number two, provision of food and non-food items to all the affected households across the county. Number three, the county and national government should open up all roads and entry points to the county of Mandera. In Migori County, the county government has distributed food and essential items to 550 households affected by flooding in Yatike sub-county. Leading the initiative, Agnes Ochilo, the spouse of the governor, urged both the national and code governments to implement lasting interventions to combat the persistent issue of floods. These, these people experiencing in uh, Nyatike is terrible. I've looked at the women, I've talked to them, I've listened to their stories, and my request or my plea is that the government should come and assist our women. For lunchtime news, some purity. Musioka. Yes,